The completion of the Nairobi bus rapid transport system is experiencing delays due to funding difficulties. Engineer Francis Gitao, the Director General of Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, says Treasury is yet to release the additional 3 billion shillings needed to complete the 5.6 billion shillings project, which was scheduled to begin operations in June 2022. The BRT system was envisioned to offer a lasting solution to the traffic jam menace in the city and its environs, a promise of a safe, efficient and affordable mode of public transport which is yet to be fulfilled since the commencement of the project. Safina Chiang took a trip along the Thika Highway to assess the progress of the pilot phase of the project and filed the following report. This is Thika Superhighway. In 2018, red lines were painted on a section of this road to demarcate lanes that were to be used by special buses under the bus rapid transport system aimed at easing road congestion, a project that was to be rolled out in June 2022. Four months after the planned date of commencement, we take a trip along Thika Road to assess the progress. One can't help but notice the red lines faded, the BRT buses not in sight, which begs the question, is the BRT system a forgotten promise? The man in charge, engineer Francis Gitao, the director general of Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, insists that the project has not stalled. It is an investment that takes time. If you look at the Risaram, they did their roads in 2013. In 2003, they launched in 2016. Those are 13 years. In fact, in Kenya, we have moved very fast because our studies are 2014, the harmonization study, the one that proposed the BRT corridors. And in 2022, we are talking about infrastructure development. Namata and the government of Kenya through various development partners, had projected to launch five BRT corridors connecting different parts of the Nairobi metropolitan area, which covers Nairobi City County and the neighboring counties of Kiambu, Kajiado, Machakos and Muranga. Thika Superhighway was identified as the pilot project it was scheduled for the 27-kilometer Kasarani Kenyatta National Hospital line to be made available to the general public in June 2022. But according to Engineer Gitao, Kenyans will now have to wait until June 2023 due to delays caused by funding difficulties. He says an additional 3 billion shillings is needed to complete the 5.6 billion shillings project. If the resources are available, it can be done in six months. But the contractor has looked at our resource planning. If it is only a certain amount of money that is available, this is the much I can do. And I think we have been in agreement. The worst case scenario should be nine months. We hope our people will continue to be patient. Engineer Gitao also says that the procurement of the first batch of 100 high-capacity BRT buses is yet to happen, but is at an advanced stage. We had four bids. Uh, it's still a procurement process. I don't want to speak about the procurement process. You know, administratively, there are clearances that are administrative in government. The BRT system is part of the government's vision to implement a mass rapid transport system whose intent is to provide an environmentally friendly, reliable, accessible and affordable public transport system. In this city, if you look at our commuter rail services, going to Embakasi costs about 40 shillings. If it is a short journey from Roiro coming into the city, of course, it is distance-based. It may even be as low as 30 bob, depends on the distance. Our fare policy, we believe, should be distance-based. Stakeholders are, however, concerned that due to the lack of a competitive advantage, they risk being pushed out of business once the project is rolled out. Hakuna vile sita nilipisha 50 bob kutoka hapa mpaka tao nao nalipisha 20 bob. Hiyo hiyo umetumiza completely. It is for this reason that Namata together with other players has worked out a plan to include the affected operators in the transition process. Public transportation is a business. To the public sector which is government, public transportation is a service. So these two uh, ideologies 
will have to be merged so that then the service that is given to Kenyans is of the kind of a quality that brings about a transformation in terms of the quality of life. Engineer Guitar, who is calling on the Kenya Kwanzaa administration to fast track efforts to implement the project, which he says will be a game changer in the public transport system. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.